Today I'm going to install GoPro Labs firmware into my GoPro Hero 8 and enable motion detection so we can capture some birds at the bird feeder. Stay tuned to see how this is done. How to video by Marcus. The first step is to download GoPro Hero Labs firmware. We can do this by going to this website at community.gopro.com, following the link to GoPro Labs. On this page, there's information about GoPro Labs. We'll want to select Get Started. Scroll to the bottom and select Hero 8 Black here. That will download the firmware. Next, you need to remove the micro SD card from your GoPro Hero 8 camera and connect it to your computer. Open up the file. And in Windows, open up this folder and then drag the update folder to the micro SD card of your GoPro Hero 8. Once the file is transferred, you can go ahead and eject the memory card and then remove it from your computer and install it in your GoPro Hero 8. With a micro SD card inserted, turn the camera on and the firmware will begin to install automatically. Once the firmware is installed, the camera will turn back on. You can check the version has successfully updated by swiping down, selecting preferences, scrolling down to about and then selecting camera info and you'll be able to see the version 017075 that we just installed. To create QR codes go to the website gopro.github.io slash labs slash control. Here's an example of one of the QR codes. If we go ahead and select on the link to owner information and type our name and point the camera at the screen. It will go ahead and write that information to the memory card. Now when the camera powers on, my name will appear. To test the motion detection, I've gone ahead and mounted the GoPro to a tripod and placed it about a foot and a half away from a bird feeder. Next, I attached a USB cable from the camera to a power supply so that the camera could run for several hours without losing power. Next, I took my phone and went to the GitHub website and selected motion detection and selected some parameters for motion detection. And then finally, Place the QR code in front of the camera with the camera powered on. Here are a few of the birds captured by the GoPro Hero 8. For motion detection, when creating a QR code, what settings are best will depend on your recording environment. For example, whether you're indoors or outdoors. If you're indoors, you'll want to have a lower value for sensitivity settings and motion mask. If you're outdoors, you want to have higher values for sensitivity and motion mask. By using a lower setting and pointing at the bird feeder, I found I ended up with lots of recordings that did not have birds in them. Basically, they were triggered by leaves or branches or things occurring in the background. So I should have used a higher setting in creating this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. You guys should subscribe. Subscribe now. Subscribe to his channel. He's nice. He gives me bird food. Subscribe. I gotta go. See you guys later. Bye.